Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Triple M here. Today's video, I wanted to quickly show you how to remap buttons on your Google TV device. Now, in this instance, I am using the remote of the On 4K Streaming Plus. And I know a lot of folks commented about these buttons at the bottom, the YouTube, Netflix, Disney Plus, Paramount Plus. A lot of folks don't have these services, so these buttons become a waste of time. Also, I did a video on the free button and the TV Guide button. For some reason, there's an overlap there where they kind of do the same thing, so maybe you want to reprogram the free button as well. So those are um, some of the key buttons that maybe you're looking to repurpose. So this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly do that. Before I do it, let me show you how this works. So I went ahead and I reprogrammed the Disney Plus button to three separate actions. So single tap is gonna open Plex, double tap is gonna open Pluto, and a long press is gonna open Ida 64. Let me show you that this actually works. Single tap is gonna launch Plex. All right. Let me get out of it. Double tap is gonna launch Pluto TV. All right, so here we are on Pluto. And a long press is gonna go ahead and launch Ida 64. All right, so here we are in Ida 64. So all three actions are gonna work on this remote controller. So I'm gonna show you how to get this set up. There is an extra step that you need to take to make sure the long press works, but watch the entire video. Of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. Okay, so the app that we're looking for is called Button Remapper and pretty straightforward. You can just go to search or you can go to your apps search for it and of course you can type this out or you can use the Google Voice Assistant button remapper all right so it should be the first option right here button mapper go ahead and click on it and go ahead and install it all right so we have it installed let's go ahead and open it it is gonna ask you to start a service. It's gonna say start accessibility service. Please go to your system, accessibility, enable button mapper accessibility service. Service is used to detect when buttons are pressed on your device so they can be remapped. If there's no accessibility settings, go to your setup, boot mapper for more info. So for us, we're gonna go to our settings, accessibility, and enable button mapper. Let's go ahead and try that. All right, so in our settings, Gonna go to accessibility and we're gonna go down to button mapper. Turn that on. Click OK. All right, and you can see now I am in button map. So, first you're gonna see just the buttons. So, you have volume up, volume down. You can add buttons, troubleshoot, more options, permissions, button sounds. You can back up and restore. So a lot of different options there. All right, so we're going to add button. All right, saying careful with remapping certain buttons. So we're going to click add button. And now we want to press the button that we're going to add. For me, I'm going to add that Disney Plus. So let's press that. All right, according to this, this is button 196. Click on that. All right, no thanks. So by default, customize is going to be turned off. You want to go ahead and turn that on. And you can see you have different options that you can play with, guys, which makes this even more usable. So you can add a single tap, double tap, or long press for it to do certain functions. So looking at my remote, this is going to be the Disney Plus button, which is the bottom left. So single tap, what I want it to do. So single tap, let's press that. A lot of different options here, to be honest. All right, so I'm going to click the drop down for options. I'm going to select application. All right, so let's say I want a single tap to open let's see what makes sense let's say i want that disney plus to open plex on a single tap double tap let's open pluto and long press let's say long press i want it to take me to my setting so let's go actions all right so a lot of different options there Let's go to system settings. All right, so three options here, as you can see, customizing that Disney Plus button. One tap Plex, two taps Pluto. Long press is gonna take me to my system settings. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Let's go back, go back again. 
and we're just, just gonna go ahead and go home. All right, so here we are on the home screen. Let's give it a shot. So single tap. All right, you can see it does open Plex. Pretty cool. All right, so I am within Plex. Let's go back home. Now we're gonna try the double tap. All right, so double tap did open Pluto TV, guys. <laughs> This is pretty awesome. All right, and uh, long press, I believe, takes me to my settings. Let's go back in. Looks like long press did something else. It was taking me to Disney Plus, so maybe that action. Let's go back in. I'm gonna go to our buttons. Button 196. Gonna skip that. All right, so long press supposed to take us to system. However, it didn't do that. Um, let's see, show menu, maybe we'll try another application, let's try IDA64, alright, so let's go home, again, single press, plex, double press, Pluto, long press, alright, so that actually worked for IDA64. Then it went back to Disney. <laughs> so for anyone that's having issues like myself with the long press not working properly, there's a troubleshooting step within the button mapper that you need to turn on to make sure that works. So once you launch the application, you're gonna go into troubleshooting and you're gonna go down to this option right here where it says alternate button handling. You wanna make sure that is turned on. Once you turn that on, you might require a restart on your system, but it will work after that um, I did have this issue and after doing some troubleshooting I was able to get this working a lot of good forums out there that kind of helped pinpoint this problem and just let me know that it was a known issue so for now everything's working how it should on Disney Plus basically I have one button doing three things let me know in the comment section if you guys use this let me know what applications you use to map your buttons to of course if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one